back to the Talladega Super Speedway, and Elvis has just left the building. Kyle Busch, the winner of the Aaron's 499, has left Victory Lane. He's going to go do some media interviews upstairs with the newspaper folks and come back, hopefully, and talk with us. And we'll have that as our Sunday sit-down tonight at 9.30 in the uh, second third portion of that program. So uh, you met a pretty special guy recently, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, anybody who races is a special person because right. it takes a special kind of person you know whether it's a, a stock car or a motorcycle whether you're on four wheels or two wheels you have to have a passion for racing and this next guy that we're going to introduce you to in this story well he's got a passion and a love more than most i've also been calling and saying it takes more than a little craziness to ride on two wheels and lean over on sharp pin turns just everything, the thrill of it. You're out, you're out there riding, you know, you're in it all and the speed of it and everything is just a blast. If that's the case, then 18-year-old Brett Cole loves it more than most because he wants to race and he has just one arm. That is what I love to do. I don't really know what I'd do if I couldn't do it. Now, before viewers go believing that's amazing, Brett says there's nothing spectacular about what he's doing. The whole balance issue at first, when you first get it going and learn to ease off that clutch, was a little bit hairy, but as soon as I got rolling, click. I'm not really fair afraid of anything. So how does he ride and hope to race with just one arm? Brett specially modified his bike. This is the push cable because it's flipped upside down and backwards from where it would be on this bar. Mm -hmm. I had to flip everything. I had to use the opposite cable to make it pull, but it works and snaps back so you know that's how you roll on the throttle it kept my clutch in the same place i just dropped it lower so i pull it like that and this is a hydraulic clutch master cylinder that i use as the front brake hook and it's almost like an automatic now i mean it's just you know just like that getting on a bike is one of the first things brett talked about after waking up following a bike crash in february 2007 in which he lost his arm I was kind of surprised because I expected him to say that he wasn't going to do it anymore. So there wasn't much thinking about it or worrying about it. With the help and support of his family, Brett continues to chase after his dream. I want to prove to myself that I can do it first and foremost. He first has to get his race license, something he plans to do in the next few months. But I think it's just the straight up passion and love of it that that sends me on my way. I don't think words could tell you how proud I am of him and how blessed we are for his attitude and for who he is. You see, Brett Cole isn't crazy. He believes he can do anything. So he wants to get racing out on the on the track, mm -hmm. and then he also loves to go dirt bike riding, okay? But he, he won't get on the bike and go out on the road. You know, that's one thing that is difficult for that's him to incredible. overcome. Yeah. Great story, inspiring a, as well. Hey, Kyle Bush, you know, he says he's never run well here. Uh, I think he ran well today, obviously taking the checkered flag. His comments from Victory Lane just moments ago. Well, it was, uh, it was a great win today uh, for our M&M's Toyota team. You know, guys did an awesome job, Joe Gibbs Racing and everybody building three great race cars. You know, Tony was up front, Denny was up front, we were up front much of the day and uh, got back behind a little bit with a lap penalty, or not a lap penalty, but got down a lap because we uh, screwed up on pit road one time but uh, fortunately we were able to come back from that and salvaged along a good day got to thank jeff gordon and uh, juan pablo montoya for sticking with me when they were pushing me and 